Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. It is a balmy 43 degrees out today, so we got the window open for Evie. We eat daily vlogs, so if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. Even though we're excited about this, this temperature, we are going to get potentially over a foot of snow. Look at this kid just chilling in his chair, all comfy like. You never know you had three shots today. Right. And you never know that Sarah booked a trip to Disney World today. <laughs> Sarah and I are fighting. He just booked me a flight. Yeah, I uh, booked. And talked to people. Yeah. <laughs> we, were really, my own will. we were really sad about not seeing Josh Strickland and Ashley Brown, I think is her name. Yeah from at uh, Festival of the Arts, Disney on Broadway, they're our favorite performers that come next to Kissy Simmons. I can't. And uh, I can't so I asked the Petruses if they had plans in two weekends. Is and it they, go, Mom, go? And they didn't, so it was a little, a little consorted effort. I was texting them this morning. And then I booked Southwest flights for Sarah, so she's gonna leave on a Friday and come back on a Monday. And hopefully have an Epcot weekend. He says, we're going to party. It's not sold. It's not sold. You're going. You already booked your park passes, too. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> he took five steps yesterday. James. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm overwhelmed. I'm not sold. I think it's strange even when I go to the grocery store by myself. So, I have 10 days to get myself okay with this whole thing. James is loving Sleeping Beauty. He, Lady in the Tramp and Peter Pan, he kind of wasn't as into. I think it, maybe it's the music. Like, I don't know. He's a kid that likes music. Um, yeah, I feel weird. <laughs> Our new favorite activity, take out all the shoes from the shoe rack and make a pile. Also, can we talk about how underrated the funny Sleeping Beauty is? Especially these three chicks. She's the best. She's probably one of our most quoted Disney characters. Look at it. I end my work day at four because I work in Eastern time zone. The sun doesn't go down until five now, which means it's a very warm 40 degrees in Chicago. So that means I can put the leggings on and I can go see my favorite city. Oh, it's so much better to run outside than on a stupid treadmill, but they're necessary. But this is my first outdoor Chicago run since like early November, I think. Oh, I'm so happy to be out here again. Woo! There it is. Ain't that a skyline? It is if I've ever seen one. Also, I really want to go to a, an event at this like lakefront venue, like a wedding or a party. I told my ACS friends a couple times, like, can you have like an ACS bank or something there? I think I'm beating rain. I had to get out because it's supposed to rain and it turns to a pretty bad snow storm that the half the country's gonna see starting in a little bit here. So I'm gonna turn around and go home. But I figure it'd be a disservice to all of you who are deciding to spend time of your day to watch this vlog if I didn't show you this beautiful, beautiful skyline. Um, hello. You got a present in the mail from your friend Shepard and from Brit and Jared too. Do you want me to open it? 
We have Monsters Inc. on. Look at this guy. Who is it? <gasps> it's Mickey! I thought you like it. Mickey! And look at this. Oh my gosh. Say thank you. <laughs> you love it? So happy. He loves it. Um, I'm so tired today. And we were unsuccessful waking up early. I'm assuming Peter might have mentioned that because he's lucky. Okay, we're good. This switch just fell. Um, we did not wake up early, so I mean, we're we're trying. We're we're gonna set the alarms. Hold on. Jamesy, did I get you? That was a good kid. That's a good kid. His teeth are making him a little bit drooly, so I put one of these bibs on because he didn't like when his drool got on his shirt what a, what a whirlwind of a few minutes um yeah so we're gonna try again tomorrow have the alarm set james did not have a good night's sleep last night so i'm assuming that's probably why we i don't even remember hearing our alarm our early alarm so um there's that <laughs> um james and i think i mentioned that peter didn't work out this morning and that's why he ran and i'm assuming he vlogged that. James had his 15 month appointment today. Um, I've talked in the past of how like appointment days like do take a lot out of me. And I'm assuming that's probably what it has to do with, but I am excited to cook dinner tonight. So that is good as far as like my anxiety level. Um, we did get celebratory McDonald's after the fact. <laughs> He had three shots, um, and we're also being referred to a specialist for his head just to get like another, like a good look at his head before he's older. Um, he has a very prominent forehead, and they just want to make sure that it's genetic. Like, I have a very prominent forehead. Yeah? I'll actually put in a picture here that I was able to show his doctor to see, like, this is how my forehead when I look. This is how my forehead looked when I was his age. Um, I don't remember the exact name of the type of doctor, but it'll be a specialist and they'll just take a look. A few doctors looked at him today and they're like, what does it hurt to have it um, looked at? So we do have that, which again, like, kinda, like, I am confident, especially because of mine and Peter's heads. But like, of course, when a checkup isn't just like, everything's great, goodbye, you get a little bit nervous. So that'll be happening soon. And he's like in great weight percentile, great high percentile. So it's overall great checkup, getting that specialist appointment in. Um, he did take an early nap, so I'll be curious to see if he takes another nap. But we are going to drive over to the P.O. Box once Peter is out of the shower. Oh, James. Is that bag of food too heavy for you? Want me to help you? Oh, lift it. So strong. See, I think. Because I think mom got a poor boy. Is it a vegan poor boy? No. Nice. This is turning out to be very difficult to do one handed. <laughs> I got a Reuben plant based. Oh, I forgot the cookies again. James, you got a. 
a kid's Buddha bowl. Oh, here's the Reuben. Look at that pickle game. Oh. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> oh, don't, your pickles. don't mind if I do. What this is this? Is his Buddha bowl. Oh, I saw Pineapple that. Pineapple and sweet potato mm. and avocado and rice. I like that. Here's my fried cauliflower po' boy. Inside salad. I like it had a taste for fresh. I also just said on the vlog that I was excited to cook tonight, but time was of the essence. Um, this salad looks healthy. There we go. Is it good? Smell a bit surely. And we forgot to mention that that was from Native Foods. Jamesy did not enjoy any bit of his Buddha bowl. I don't know if he just happened to like be a bunch of stuff he didn't like and then like the pineapple was hot. He usually likes rice. He liked the french fries and the oatmeal cream pie. Also, I can't, I can't really blame him because you don't like any of those things here? <laughs> like, I don't like sweet potato. I'm not like crazy about plain avocado. Like, I only like guacamole or like zested up avocado. But Peter got a new book today. Do I look like him? No, but Luca does. My nephew Luca does. Yeah, I, I truly think like when Luca grows up, he's going to look like Leslie Odom Jr. Oh, Failing. No. Failing to say the name of this book properly because it's called Feeling Up. How to take risks, aim higher, and never stop learning. I love the size. Yeah, it's a little cute and everything. A little cutesy, you know? Ooh, is that blue font? <sighs> yeah. This kid has not stopped going crazy for like an hour. This is what Carolyn Earhart hoped one day I would suffer, like, from me doing this to her kids in Disney World. <laughs> and so this snowstorm begins. All right, it's ten o'clock and we're going to bed because we're trying this whole. We I don't know if we said. Yeah. We woke up at 3.50 in the morning because of James, but we all went back to sleep and didn't recall our 4 a.m. alarms going off, or 4.30. 4.30, and that does seem early, but that is like, that's like allowing us to drag our feet and to like start our morning by like reading. Yes, like I'm gonna do like an 45 minutes to an hour of reading and then ideally then spend like an hour to go run, if not a little more, before I come back and start my day. Yeah. And that'll be like the same timing then for days I have at Orange Theory, because I try to typically do the 6 a.m. class. Yeah. Tomorrow, it's 10 o'clock right now, in the next 12 hours, so 10 a.m., okay. we're supposed to have between 5 and 6 inches of snow outside. I but, just showed out the window that it started. Oh. Mm-hmm. But I hope everybody's safe out there during this because it's looking even gnarlier like and nastier. All across the country. South of us, which is weird because usually it gets warmer, but like I think because it's warmer south that like they have more precipitation involved like snow. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's great to be home and who knows what the snow will stop us or start us from doing. Like if we'll Right, like we can throw James in a pile. What should Sarah do? She's gonna have a full Saturday and a full Sunday in Orlando in, in two weekends. I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. She's like not sold on it because she doesn't want to be away from James. Who are you? Um it's just very strange. But I booked the flights I, f I asked our friends if Sarah could hang out with them and stay with them and I booked the park reservations so she's going. We'll see good to be home. <laughs> I'll be like, I need to get a haircut this weekend. Sure. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.